a reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. We who know that a person is not justified by the works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ Jesus that we may be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law. Because by the works of the law no one will be justified. For though the law I die to law, that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ, yet I live no longer I, but Christ lives in me. And as far as I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me. I do not nullify the grace of God. For if justification comes from the law, then Christ died for nothing. The word of the Lord. When St. Paul wrote this letter, he already had, as we say, words with St. Peter. St. Peter was a Jewish man, and when he comes to um, Antioch, he begins to play the role. With the Jews, he becomes Jews. With the Gentiles, he played the Gentile role. That means when he was with the Jews, he was playing the game that he was really observant of the law. But when he was with the Jew, with the Gentiles, he really felt that he need to be at, and relax with them and do what they do. And we know that Paul now confronts Peter. And that confrontation caused to bring on the Council of Jerusalem. And when Paul is writing to the people of Galatia, he reminds them of those important incidents that they have. That now they are not justified by the law that some of them among them are trying to impose on them. The law of Moses is over. Christ came and died. He renewed with us a new and everlasting covenant. And that covenant is what is going to save us. The shedding of the blood that every time we come to the Eucharist we celebrate. That blood by which he entered into everlasting covenant reconcile us with the Father and through that reconciliation we have the adoption, we have the privilege to be also heirs of the kingdom. And St. Paul today he said that as a Jewish person he too was raised in this fashion. He know how hard it is to let go of something that you were raised from infancy. But because he wants to please God, and God sent his son not to destroy but fulfill all that was written about him, he accept Jesus Christ. And because he put himself on the cross and died for us, in him he put faith. Because if the law that God gave to Moses was good enough to bring us salvation, and Christ came to this world for nothing. And that's what we need to keep in mind here, people, because sometimes, you know, we feel that this is our place, and this is our church, and this is our community, and these are the people we grow with. Unfortunately, that is not our faith. Our faith is Jesus Christ. Whether it is the Jesus that we worship when we are infants, whether it's the Jesus that we worship when we are adults, and even the Jesus that we worship that we are now elderly. Because Jesus is not a tower. Jesus is not a steeple. Jesus is not a building. Jesus is the church. And the church really loved Jesus so much that those who are baptized and part of this calling of salvation, they are the one who can recognize that the Jesus is not based on a law, but we are having a relation with a person. And that person is asking us to have not 
observing of the law, but a personal relationship. I'm going to give you an example and I finish with it. When you went to Mass because it's an obligation, Mass was empty. Because you did what you don't want to do, sin. But when you went to Mass, because at Mass you give God, thanks to God for all the blessings He gave you, and become for us an instrument by which I come closer to God, not only you want to go to Mass, but you cannot wish that Mass will be over. That is the relationship. When you do things because you have to, you are bound by a law, and the law kills. But where there is love, well, ask each yours, ask yourself what you did when you were in love with the man you marry, with the woman you marry. And that is the relationship that Jesus wants to have with him. This is why St. Paul insists on this very important point that Christ gave himself to us on the cross and that was the great gift for you and for me so that we can be reconciled with the Father and gave us that justification, the pledge of eternal life. Whether we observe the Mosaic law or not is not going to save us. What we need to do is to put faith in Jesus Christ because in him alone there is salvation.